Crypto Bliss truck. And you guys can see that we are pumping to the moon right now. Okay, crypto is exploding. There has been pumps, CPI data pushed the prices of crypto up and we are now really very, very bullish at the moment. But right, I'm gonna show you some things in the charts and you need to stay right to the end because this is gonna be an action packed video in under 10 minutes just for you. Thank you for being here on my video. My beautiful supporters, my beautiful community, I appreciate you. And let's get cracking on here with the charts and what's going on. First of all, as I said to you, and I have been saying to you, we are now officially back over a $1 trillion crypto market cap, officially $1 trillion and $22, nearly $23 billion. We've had $100 billion come into the market within the past 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance is 39.42, creep crept up another 1%. Crypto coins because of it, Bitcoin is dominating. People are pulling out of their alts, pushing their money back into Bitcoin. Um, so very, absolutely beautiful. I love it. And um, guys, look at us. We're sitting today 11.11% up on the day, past seven days, 23%, but it's actually a whole lot more than that. And I'm gonna show you that right now in this video. So Ethereum's at 1,554, BNB at 307, XRP at 40 cents, Cardano 35 cents, Polygon 97 cents, Polygon's pumping. Solana's pumping, it is pumped 62%, guys. I'm so grateful I bought some at the bottom there. Um, yeah, I, I, we'll have a look at Solana on a different video. Um, so keep an eye on the links above uh, for whatever it is that you wanna be watching here with me. So $22. And polka dots five dollars sixty four. Litecoin eighty eight uh, eighty eight point twenty dollars. Avalanche sixteen point eighty one. Uniswap six point seventy three. And Chainlink six eighty two. The fear and greed index has pumped up as well. It's still under under the greed, okay? But it's sitting at forty six. This is the highest point we have actually seen in crypto for a very, 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 very long time, guys. And I'll show you where on the charts the last time we had a, a huge fear and greed index pump like this. I mean, that's a 15 point pump. So very cool. I'm so grateful to see that in the market. Look at all the green and space today on the bubbles. Absolutely incredible. Gala up 20%. I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so grateful that we had an opportunity to buy when it's low. And that's the whole point, guys, is that you're supposed to dollar cost average into your positions. And that is going to make the most beautiful um, profits for you in crypto. So just be sure to make sure that you take profits always in crypto. OK, uh, and speaking of which, I'll tell you a little bit just now about my trade. But please, of course, keep a close eye out on the post that I post here on my Twitter channel. And you can go and follow me there, too. And um, I guess yesterday, uh, what was very cool was that consumer inflation expectations were 4% instead of 4.4%. And five year was 3%, which was a little bit higher than 2.9%, uh, the 2.9% previously, but that's okay. And import in price index jumped up a little bit, which, you know, may have pumped the markets a little bit more as well. So let's just close these up for now. We don't need those anymore. I want to go straight into the Bitcoin chart on the four hour time frame first. And I just want to show you something about this chart. So right now, I wanted to show you that since the bottom, which was actually here on this candle, it, Sunday 23rd of January at four o'clock exactly. We until today, which is obviously uh, the 14th of January, we have pumped 30% in Bitcoin. Okay, 30% in Bitcoin. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys something absolutely phenomenal. Look at this. Look at the top of this box. Isn't that my Fibonacci? Okay, so it's literally come to a point of two. It's now hit the top of this level. It has broken out of my descending channel here and this descending channel here. This was the breakout point, And I'm going to speak about this breakout point right now because that is right there by the 618 level. 
And I'm gonna sh show you guys a few things because the 618 is very close to my turquoise line. And um, obviously we've broken through on many time frames. But let's go and look at the weekly quickly because the weekly is critically important for us here. And I'm gonna show you exactly why guys. Because we have officially the biggest candle we have had in crypto, in Bitcoin, okay, in the past however many months, okay? Um, well, actually, because now that candle has literally erased all the FTX gains, uh, the, or losses, excuse me. So <clears throat> that's extremely powerful. We're catching up here where we bounced off of the slope quite nicely. We didn't ever bottom out. So look at that bottom bottoming angle there. And then also, of course, now we've hit off a very long term res um, support level for Bitcoin. This is, I think, a 14 year support level, actually, uh, this level. So we have not ever broken that point. Now, I wanted to go and show you because January is quite a, a busy month for crypto. And look at that. That is absolutely powerful because now the blue on the monthly stochastic is starting to turn up. The RSI is starting to turn up. Here's my level to, to break. But actually, we have pumped. And this candle, look at this. It is completely engulfing the previous two months, which is indicating that we have a very, very good chance of us really pushing back and becoming quite bullish for Bitcoin. However, guys, Things don't shoot up in straight lines, okay? Um, you know, other than this, it's not like one candle burst this whole thing. It took one, two, three, four, five, six months for this to run up. And look at this candle. This candle is only the size of maybe this candle here. So we could be in for a really bullish ride here. But if we get here, uh, and basically close above this level here, which is above the ribbon, and it's meeting that resistance level there, which will be a resistance level. That's where I'm saying, and, and, and horizontal and um, upward sloping resistance, there would be, and my purple box, there would be a, a little bit of a, a pullback and very likely maybe back down to the 19,000 level. So that would be 20, basically 30, 32,000 all the way back to 19,000. So. Bitcoin could be volatile for the next little while. And I think it's going to just really look at building building up momentum here. And if we have a look at this chart, like I've been saying to you, here's the resistance point that I just spoke about. So that's up here, even, even a little bit higher, about 40,000. So I would say that it's going to push and have resistance probably at the top of the, the bands here, which coincide with a drop at FTX. Um, was that the, no sorry the dropout ftx is there this was the lunar collapse so you know we're getting closer and closer to really the market pulling itself back we've now broken out of this downward sloping trend uh triangle uh wedge excuse me and basically this wedge is its target is the previous all-time high so it could take months look how long it took all of this this took more than a year um december 20th it's actually taken two years so uh, yeah I, that's when I entered crypto. So boom, pumped up here. Okay, as well, Ethereum has pushed all the way up here. Ethereum's definitely broken out. It's coming up to the purple box. I do believe it's gonna be met with a little bit of resistance, guys, very soon. Look, the dollar is really consolidating on the line that I've been speaking about, and it probably just needs to pull up just a little bit up to this point to confirm that the ribbon is gonna push it down, but it may not. It may be a very, very, very good point at that to happen on the dollar. Now, I'm gonna show you here the total crypto market cap. Look at that. Excuse me, boom, four hours straight through my descending wedge, okay? All right, so I'm gonna to say to you that the total crypto market cap could pump up quite a little bit more, okay? Here's my point. But let's go and see on the daily time frame what the daily time frame is saying. Yeah, look, we've just pushed. We've now done the cross on the total crypto market cap, which means that we are getting bullish. Look, we broke out of this descending channel line. I think our resistance point may be this point up here because every time we've hit it, one, two, we've broken down. So we'll. I think that's the target. And then we should then come and find some support back on the top of on the this descending line and even as low back as down as to where we are, uh, where we were a couple days ago. So that's quite interesting. 
And then total crypto market cap uh, in terms of altcoins. Look how we've pumped there in the alt in the altcoin um, charts as well. And let's go and see quickly. And I want to show you guys very very quickly on the other chart. Look how freaking magnificent that is. Okay, I said the same thing to you guys here. Here's a resistance point. So I said to you, we will very likely hit resistance up here. Not really at this point, even though we are meeting a bit of a resistance level here. I do believe that we'll push up a little bit and find some pull, have a strong pullback. And then that's when we, we might even consolidate between the two yellow lines here. But who knows? I don't have a genie, but this is the chart that I've been waiting to show you. So I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so this is on the daily time frame, Bitcoin. We are now meeting the 200 daily resistance okay we've hit a level of resistance here we've also hit a level of resistance here here where we have faked out and pulled back down and then consolidated so for me we might have that same very same pattern here okay we i mean we might overreach to a little bit uh, to about twenty five thousand because there's a more sig maybe twenty four thousand because that's a more significant level Okay, but actually we we're hitting that point. We've pumped quite a lot number of days in a row, which is a very, very powerful pump, which means that every there is space for people to believe that crypto actually is very powerful. And this could start to end up looking like the bottom. I believe that we could end up having a pullback down to about 18,000, which has been my level of support here. Um, and then I would say that we would re enter. Now I took I unfortunately forgot about the, my take profit level, but at the end of the day, we've had a really massive pump, like I said, 30% in Bitcoin on my Bitcoin trade, and I, I accidentally took profits, but I gained on that 280% um, on my Bitcoin profits at 20, my level that I took profits at was 20,000 earlier. So I missed out on the thousand pump, but I'm okay because you take profits and I gained 280%, right? So that's phenomenal. And that's the thing that I wanted to show you. And I'll share with you on my Twitter channel, as I say, my screenshot of the rest of my trades that are doing well. My Ethereum trade is doing phenomenal, just as well as the Bitcoin. So let's go and have a look over there.